Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am in the town of Barnwell. Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am in the community of Barnwell, South Carolina. I'm gonna show you something very creepy. A serial killer, an African-American serial killer was from this town and his name was Henry Lewis Wallace, AKA the Taco Bell Strangler. This man is pure evil. He murdered multiple African-American women in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, but he's from this town here. And one of his first victims was actually from here, but he is on D-E-A-T-H row in North Carolina. I'm gonna take you to his house where he grew up. Childhood home, Henry Lewis Wallace. Very, very creepy. Check it out. up in this neighborhood here. He is on death row in North Carolina. Take the next right onto Begonia Street. Going to 97 Begonia Street. This is the neighborhood. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. Hi, ma'am. Looking for Henry Lewis Wallace. Didn't he used to live here? A long time ago? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry to disturb you. Do you know, like, where his family is? Oh, you know him? Or... Oh, you said they're dead? Oh, okay. Thank you. Let me tell you a little bit of history about this guy. Who is Henry Lewis Wallace? Henry was born in November 1965 in Barnwell, South Carolina, to Lottie Mae Wallace. The single mother took care of Henry and his older sister by working at a textile mill. Henry had a difficult childhood because Lottie was a disciplinarian, and when she felt the need to punish her kids, she would reportedly sometimes ask them to whip each other. After Henry graduated high school in 1983, he spent some time at college before joining the U.S. Naval Reserve. In 1985, he married Moretta Brabham, a high school classmate. While Henry didn't seem to pose any trouble at work, he also began using crack cocaine extensively. To pay for his drug habit, he burglarized homes and businesses. This continued into the 1990s, and after an arrest for breaking and entering in 1992, Henry was given an honorable discharge from the Navy because of his trouble-free service record. He eventually settled in Charlotte, North Carolina, where he began working at fast food restaurants, eventually becoming a manager at a local Taco Bell. In Charlotte, Henry's crime spree was horrifying. After his eventual arrest in March 1994, he confessed to murdering 11 people. The authorities were led to Henry through some physical evidence. In the days before his arrest, Betty Bauckham was found murdered in her apartment. She had been strangled to death with a ligature, there was evidence of a struggle, and she had been sexually assaulted. Some items from her home were missing, including her car. Later, the authorities found it in a parking lot and recovered a palm print. This print then matched Henry, who was eventually arrested. By then, he had a criminal history. He had committed sexual crimes, burglary, and larceny in the past. Furthermore, 
Security footage from a bank showed a man with a distinct earring trying to use Vanessa Mack's bank card. Vanessa was murdered at her apartment in February 1994. Like Betty, she was strangled with a ligature and sexually assaulted. One of Henry's mugshots had him wearing the same distinct earring, connecting him to another murder. During questioning, Henry confessed to Killington woman in Charlotte, Sharon Nancy, Carolina Love, Shauna Hawk, Audrey Spain, Valencia Jumper, Mitchell Stinson, Vanessa Mack, Betty Balcom, Brandy Henderson, and Deborah Slaughter. He knew most of these women through work, his girlfriend, or his sister. Henry confessed in great detail, talking about the attacks and the sexual assaults. In Brandy's case, Henry raped her while she held her young son. He tried to choke the baby as well, but the kid survived. Furthermore, he confessed to murdering Tashanda Bethea in Barnwell in March 1990. After sexually assaulting her, Henry admitted to strangling her, cutting her wrists and neck and throwing her body in a pond. In a brazen act, Henry had even shown up to the funerals of some of his victims. Some claimed that the police were slow in investigating the murders because the murdered women were all working-class black women. But the police denied that. According to the authorities, Henry gained the trust of his victims before killing them. In January 1997, he was found guilty of nine counts of first-degree murder, in addition to other charges like rape, assault with a deadly weapon, and robbery. Henry was handed down nine death sentences as a result. Records indicate that he awaits execution at the Central Prison in Raleigh, North Carolina. So yeah, he's on death row, showing you where he lived, his home. Kind of creepy. And maybe some people did or did not know, so. I am JLR Investigates, I am driving around in the scene, showing you locations you might not know about. I am in Barnwell, South Carolina. Henry Lewis Wallace on death row. We'll talk soon. Stay